Hello there, Scorpios. Welcome to your mid-September 2017 tarot reading. So first of all, uh, finances. It, it seems like it's going smoothly, so I'm not too concerned for you guys in the financial sector, but let me give you a little bit of details about work, okay? First of all, you have somebody that is a little bit scattered. So I feel like they're they're either non-committal or they're... they're um, it, it, it's like they're here today, gone tomorrow. They're not very consistent. They're not very stable. And they seem to me to they, that they might have like some type of emotional fluctuations. So once again, the message is dealing with people who are very temperamental at work and having to be very careful about how you come across the words that you use and the word choices that you use when you interact with them. So I feel like you might say one thing, they interpret it a different way, and then they carry your directions into a different uh, direction altogether. So I feel like it's really important to, you know, repeat yourself and be very clear, okay? Um, which I feel you are really succinct and clear communicators, but I feel like this person needs extra emphasis, needs extra, um, they need extra directives from you. I feel for many of you in the work front, you're dealing with a lot of young people. So you might be a teacher, you might be a mentor, you might be, you know, um, rubbing elbows, just, just um, mentoring or dealing with a lot of younger people. So I feel like because of that, it is also really important to reiterate, you know, to repeat multiple times if you have to, because with younger children, that's how you get them to remember things. That's how you get them to, you know, apply everything that they've learned. I feel like through repetition, I feel like that's the best way to get your point across, okay? Um, I'm seeing a relationship partner here. And um, I we have a lot of signs that are, that are showing up, but in particular, I'm, I'm feeling like it could even be, it, it could be like fire sign or a water sign. But in general, what I feel is your relationship partner is somebody that does things, okay? They don't talk about it. They just do it to show that they care. And they're, the way their energy is, it's very extroverted. It's very like um, things are done in a uh, in-your-face type of a way. You have a very quiet demeanor about you when you love, when you care for somebody. You're not verbally expressive, but I feel like you do a lot of practical things for the other person to show that you care. So for example, um, for example, um, you might take their car to get a car wash for them because it's messy and you feel like they might appreciate it. But I feel like from your partner's perspective, they, they don't really want those practical things. They want more gestures. They want more verbal um, communication to show how much you care. They want like these gifts and trinkets, not that they're materialistic, but I feel like the practical things, they don't really care about it. So they don't do it. And if they really cared about it, they would have done it themselves. So, you know, washing a car, it, it doesn't really mean a lot to them. It's not an overly romantic gesture, even though from your end, you might feel like, oh, that's, the, it's, it's nice that I do that for them. But I feel like they're looking for other acts of appreciation, other acts of, you know, um, emotional displays of affection. Okay. So I, I feel like aiming to do, do things that are a little bit more romantic flowers, you know, dinners, uh, date night, all of these things. I feel like that's what your partner really needs. So a lot of the times when we've been together with a person for a really long time, we might, um, we might like de-emphasize or we might undermine, the importance that these little romantic gestures are. But if we want to do romantic gestures, I feel like you want to really think about what have I done in the past that really made their eyes, you know, light up? What have I done in the past or what have they seen that they really like that made them feel like a child that make, made their eyes, you know, just sparkle and aim to recapture that because I feel like the relationship needs a little bit of work, okay? Um, I'm feeling like some of you are dealing with somebody whose expressions, it's like their eyes light up. So when they're excited, when they're happy, you see it in their eyes. So aim to do things that can recapture that feeling, recapture that childlike innocence in their eyes. And, you know, I, I feel like you're smart enough to know what works and what doesn't. And so your idea of romance or your idea of great gestures might not jive well with what they think is romantic, what they think is, you know, 
emotionally fulfilling. So aiming to do things that will really cater to them is going to be really good for your relationships, okay? And of course, you know, everything flows both ways, but I feel like this is something that you can do because I've known a lot of Scorpios where, you know, the romantic gesture is like washing your car. And it, it's a helpful gesture, but it seems to me like it's not the most romantic thing, okay? So you know, date nights, gifts, trinkets, little things here and there, I feel like that's really going to go a long way um, to, with the, the person that you're dealing with because the way they express love is very different from you. So aim to meet them halfway, okay? Um, I'm also feeling as well, and this is uh, in tune with the Virgo reading, there are a lot of romantic ambience like floating around in this spread. So I feel like a lot of uh, romantic gestures, a lot of date nights that's coming into st um, the picture for you guys for the next two weeks. I feel like, um, once again, on par with the Leo reading, don't take, you know, work home with you. So that means if there are problems, issues, disputes, um, creative differences on the work front, Try to, you know, let that wash away at work and do not bring that home. When you're dealing with your kids and you're concerned about work or you're stressed out about work, it might not be the best thing, okay? So try to leave that behind. But I feel like relatively the next two weeks, it seems like relationships are going to smooth themselves out. Your interaction with other people will start to smooth themselves out. You're a lot more careful and you're a lot more mindful about how you uh, communicate with other people so that when you see like they're agitated or they're worked up you try to de-escalate the situation and likewise when you feel like you're out of line I feel like you know how to rein yourself back in to not escalate the tension in that communication with another person so I feel like things are going to be relatively smooth I also feel as well you are looking around for other people other projects other jobs you're putting your feelers out there on the work front you're making a lot of connections as well with old acquaintances old professional contacts as well to see what else is available for you but um I do feel the money situation is going to flow well I feel like if you have a uh, work partner or if you have like a business partner, there will be a little bit of creative differences. You know, one partner wants to take it one way and the other partner wants to do it this way. And so there's a little bit of clash, but I feel like it's creative differences that can be easily resolved. It's like you have the same destination, you have the same goals in mind, but you're wanting to do things in a different manner. And I feel like that situation is going to clear itself up. And I also feel as well for many of you, um, they say to not isolate yourself and you know if you have a tendency to like if you get into a relationship and you tend to cocoon yourself with that romantic partner they say not to isolate your friends to branch out a little bit make connections or reconnect with your friends and your you know professional contacts professional network be out and about and you know try to cultivate relationships outside of your relationship that doesn't mean stepping outside of the relationship it basically means expanding your social contacts who you communicate with who you spend your time with so that you're not just you know cocooning yourself in a relationship it's not always good okay it's good to spend time with your significant other and your loved ones but I do feel that the friendship circles are getting a little bit neglected and I feel like you do find a lot of enjoyment personal enjoyment interacting with friends interacting with people that that really care about you so I feel like it's time to get yourself back out there okay so professionally there's a little bit of a snag creative differences but I don't feel it's major and I also feel like there are multiple ways to do something just because you or the other person don't do things the way the, the way that you envision it doesn't mean that it's wrong it's like we take the same roads and we all end up at the same destinations okay and or we can take different routes and end up it might take a little bit longer, but we will ultimately end up where we're supposed to end up. So I feel like there might be different ways. So being a little bit flexible, I feel, is um, is very crucial for the next two weeks. And especially um, putting yourself in other people's shoes and trying to understand where they're coming from. I feel like that's going to be very crucial for you guys, okay? There's a lot of communication here with siblings, parents, family members, a lot of communication. And I feel like you're dealing with a family member here that has like grandiose plans. They have all these ideas and I feel like you're going to be the one to break it to them, that to tell them like all your ideas are great, but they they don't really pass that common sense test and to kind of bring them down to earth. Okay. You're kind of like bursting their bubbles a little bit, 
but I feel like they trust you. So they're coming to you with all of these ideas because they know that you're the voice of practicality that they can always count on. Okay. So I do see that. And, you know, be very courteous and um, I want to say diplomatic with communication for the next two weeks. Okay, Scorpios. So take care of yourself and I'll talk to you guys soon. I hope the reading has been helpful. All right. Bye-bye.